Have you ever met another believer who is in the middle of a spiritual battle, but they don't know that they're in one? I mean, they are being attacked left, right, and center. Their marriage is under attack, and they think it's their friends who are the problem. They, they're sick in their bodies, but the doctor can't seem to find a cause. Their money isn't adding up, even though they have automated their saving. Nothing makes sense to them, regardless of what's going on, because there is a lack of knowledge. The first line in Hosea chapter 4, verse 6 says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. A lack of knowledge. I want to tell you two things. The first thing will be what the devil loves, and the second will be what the devil hates. The devil loves to make you fearful. The devil loves to introduce fear into the life of a believer. And let me tell you why. Fear is the opposite of faith. The Word of God calls us to live by faith and trust that God is in complete control. That's why we're told to not be anxious about anything. We're told not to worry, not to let our hearts be troubled over and over again. And this is because God wants us to live by faith and trust Him in every moment for every need. But the devil, he wants the complete opposite for you and I. He doesn't want us to live by faith, so he introduces fear. And when you begin to live with the spirit of fear in your life, you begin to go against God's word and you're filled with anxiety. You're worrying about what you will eat and drink and of course your heart is troubled. This is the damage that the spirit of fear brings. Look at what the Bible calls us to do. The Bible calls us to be courageous. Fear is the opposite of that. The Bible calls us to be bold. Fear is the opposite. The Bible calls us to trust God. Fear is the opposite because you doubt that God can be trusted with whatever you're worried about. This is why the devil loves to introduce fear into people's lives. However, let me tell you this. If there is one thing the devil can't stand, it's a man or woman who rejects the spirit of fear. A person who is not intimidated by what they see, but someone who is governed by the word of God. Society gives us so many messages today. We are told how we're supposed to carry ourselves, how we're supposed to speak, 